Hello everybody, welcome to OCHD and welcome to another Jump Booty Heroes news video. Today we are talking about the One Piece Feature Festival Wano edition. I actually, I've lost count, I don't know how, how many feature festivals we've had, I think this must be the fifth, or the fourth, fifth One Piece one, I'm not sure. Um, but, one thing they haven't really said outright, but seems apparent to me, is that due to the fact that this is celebrating the 25th anniversary of One Piece, the almost the entirety of the focus on this event is on the Straw Hats. It's new versions of all the Straw Hats. Not Nami and Robin, we got those earlier this year. Um, not Zoro, we got him at the end of last year. Um, well, not the end, but around this time last year. But everyone else gets a new version. So essentially, we now have a Wano version of every straw hat including Yamato so kind of cool I guess um I've kind of gone back and forth on how I feel about this <laughs> some of the choices for this event um but let's let's talk about some of the good stuff um to start things off something that's not going to be in the news post but I'm gonna add it after I make this video uh I'll put a link like here um we have a set of rewards that launched on the first day from a line campaign and those give you 722 rubies in total it's free links i'm gonna put them all in there um pretty good way to start the event uh i i've been saying this to people i think i think we're gonna trend in the direction of having two limiteds per two week event from now on it's not something that didn't happen in the past, but normally, if you had a feature festival, it would just be one, and that would be it. But I'm, I'm feeling things shifting. <laughs> I'm feeling a shift in the tides, you know. Sales packs can be bought uh, in larger quantities. Uh, they're more frequent, the larger sales packs. And, uh, yeah, we, we've, we've got two limits this event. We had, like, three, sort of, the last event. And like, yeah, I think from now on, it's going to be like, even if an event only has one limited, they'll find some other way to give you a limited within that two week period for some other nonsense. And uh, I think we're probably going to go to four Musos a year. So it's a turbulent time to be playing. And we one of the main complaints about the last event was there's not enough rubies for this. And well... Possibly that's one thing they fixed it because we got 722 from the line campaign. Like I said, I will put the links there for anybody that hasn't got that yet. Um, so you can just go to the website in the description and click the links. Uh, and they should be around there somewhere. And on One Piece Day, we're going to get another 722 rubies. So pretty substantial amount. Obviously, they have released two limiteds and we had the, the limiteds of Muso and all that stuff before. So... A lot of people still sort of struggling on rubies even after this, but it's a start, and I'm hoping this is something they will continue to do. They will continue to realize, oh damn, if we're giving out all this stuff, we can give out more rubies, and it, it and it's more balanced, and, and people will be happier. People like like look, if you're releasing all these limiteds and you're making loads of money off of it, give us a little something back, a little something something. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Um, the standard login bonus, at this point, I think most people have pretty much accepted that that's always going to be just like irrelevant stuff, except maybe in certain events. Like, it's it's typically just going to be like this item, you can farm. So, <laughs> well, actually, no, you can't farm this one. This one is tied to uh, one of the missions. But I think there's a limited amount of items you can purchase with it. So even if you missed the entire login bonus, I think you'd be fine. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's certainly something. <laughs> it's certainly something. And yeah, this is the, the missions campaign I was talking about to get the treasure chests. And so I think you can buy these tickets, which are pretty good. And beyond that, all the other stuff is just like general items you can get for free from pretty much anywhere. So... Yeah, I think the login bonus is pretty superfluous here, but whatever. Um, clear all these missions. The missions are really easy. Um, one of the things they've done, which I think is quite clever, 
they've done level 1 through 10 for the legend summon and the reason they've done that is because they want you to level it up straight away which you should do anyway um but it's specifically very good for the kaido catastrophe stage in this event uh so and and it, there's even like a special interaction if you bring it along so that is kind of neat kind of cool from them and uh, just max the characters i mean pretty standard affair and then so we have two free tickets we need to talk about the first one is the grand lion ticket the grand lion tickets you're gonna get a total in theory of 10 multis from these tickets uh just from purchasing them from this store up here and third seventh and tenth multi is guaranteed five star and on the fifth multi you get guaranteed onami which is the gacha version of nami technically the first one's gacha as well but it's like a four star but this is the five star gacha version of nami that came out earlier this year so it's a pretty nice freebie from them and uh you have a chance of pulling whitebeard ace and mihawk which is also pretty cool i think the rates i haven't checked but i'm guessing the rates on them are very low but hey we don't we don't turn our nose up at freebies listen sometimes you get these free tickets and it's like it's like oh guaranteed five star like in the last event they had the one that was like guaranteed five star from each era but it didn't have an updated pool so it's like for all the people who just finished the, the pool from last year with choice tickets or whatever it, it's kind of pointless there's not much of value you're gonna get from it but in this case this is a 2022 unit admittedly if you already have her then whatever but you still have a chance of getting mihawk and ace and whitebeard so pretty nice pretty nice um then we have this event daily stage clear it every day and you'll get a random devil fruit at the end of each day you can also from missions get the mystery fruit which is just basically a token that you can trade in for one of the other fruits i think i think the gum gum fruit costs like four tokens or something and all the rest costs one i could be wrong on that but um you get the tokens from the missions just the missions are literally just clear this stage once clear the stage twice clear the stage three times like going on and on and on um and all these fruits are essentially just level up books they're nothing special except for the gum gum uh, fruit which is like the equivalent of a scroll it gives skilly xp kind of cool i mean it's kind of something a bit different i guess uh, i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know and then we have the first possibly a little bit questionable part of this event so the the beasts pirates all stars are like the free the free like biggest bounties serving directly under kaido so they're, they're kind of a big deal and none of them are playable in this event they have all been added as enemy only it's possible that uh, later they, they could appear as playable uh but you may remember they've done something like this before um in the buggy stage they had mr free has not been made playable um in dress rosa you had like don Xinjiao and people like that not playable in fact one piece one piece is one of the series that has a very large just unplayable roster there's loads of characters that never got made playable so whether or not these three in particular will become playable at some point i have absolutely no idea i think a lot of people are suggesting there could be a one oh part two or part three is it part two it'll be another one oh <laughs> feature festival next year which is possible um but i i personally I don't know. I, I think there's still a lot to come from that arc. But I feel like I'm getting a bit oversaturated on it. I feel like we just keep going back to it. And it's like 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 they said, this this series has gone for 25 years. Um and we're focusing on the last few years, and that's about it. <laughs> it feels a bit weird to me. Um but this gives us a new version of Usopp. Usopp yet to get 
a properly useful, legitimate version in the gacha or anything. I mean, there's like the three-star gacha one, but come on. And then we've got like Soga King, which I thought was kind of cool. And now we've got Uso Hachi. Um, but personally for me, it just, just didn't even remotely need to exist. It just didn't. If you're going to do a new version of Usopp, I'm sure there were better options than this. But if we're, I, I guess if we're focusing on Wano, got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I personally would have preferred Jack as a farmable, but that's just me. Um, and then we have the... Sunachi Legend Summon, which I think is pretty good Legend Summon, pretty cool. A little, <laughs> the only thing that's a little bit disappointing is pretty much none of the characters you can see here are, are available in the game. Kinemon is in here somewhere, and the flag you can see Odin on the side there. That's part of like the flashback panel. Um, Odin is technically playable. Kaido I guess is technically playable, but yeah, a lot of the the Minx and the Samurai, they're just, they're not in the game. Feels a bit weird, but sure, okay. Uh, and then we have our Catastrophe Emblem stage, and i got to say, I know I've said it many, many times before, but I'm going to say it again. I'm, I'm not big on the stages that literally just give an emblem and nothing else. At least if the stage has, like, a farmable, it's like, okay, and then if you want to clear the... Catastrophe stage, then you can, and you can get the emblem, but at least do this farmable. But in this case, there's not even a farmable. This dropped at the same time as Yamato, and it was the only thing from this event to do when the event first started. Technically, the event hadn't started yet because this stuff dropped a little bit early. Um, but if you pulled Yamato, this was all you could do. <laughs> Go get an emblem. And for me, ah, it's not it's not that exciting. I don't know. Um, maybe in the future, this is something like when the My Ship update gets added, maybe they'll have a new type of reward they can give out or something. I don't know. Uh, I definitely think I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't hear anything about the My Ship update because they said mid-July. After having already delayed it once, but you know, these things happen. <laughs> these things happen. Uh, then we have the farmable stage. You farm Odin, and uh, not the character, but the the food, the item. And then Odin can be exchanged for rewards at the shop, and you will also get a stamp and uh, emblem. Pretty, pretty normal event, but. Pretty cool, we have the Wano Country Ticket Gacha. As far as I know, this does have like all the One Piece 5 star characters on it, even though it only shows these three. Uh, but we do get a few more summons on this than normal, I think, because we're getting we're getting like some from this store, I don't know how many. We're getting five from the one of the stages further down, I think it's this one. We get five from this one as well. So I think they're gonna give us a few summons on that. Maybe you can get lucky. You never know. Maybe you can get lucky. Um, and this is the story of the Straw Hats, obviously. One of the things that I kind of think would have been cool, because obviously they're alluding to it, is Shanks' involvement in the 25th anniversary because we are getting One Piece film red. It might have been nice to add a new Shanks, but I feel like they might be thinking Shanks hasn't even really done enough to get one playable character. So putting in a second might be a bit of a stretch, which I can understand. Uh, I think it could have been cool to just have like a farmable Shanks from like the start of the series. Might have been cool. Uh, but instead, they're just sort of paying an homage to... Shanks, they show a few panels of him, and then, and then you get an emblem. You get an emblem, and a and a chat stamp too. You know, uh, but you do actually get tickets, which are cool. <laughs> um, then we have another farmable brook that is blue, <laughs> which I think is a somewhat questionable choice. That's just me. I do find it interesting that the characters they've selected, it's a mix, because it feels you've got like. Luffy, Yamato, Usopp, Chopper, Frankie 
are all from like the raid on Onigashima part of the story and then you've got Usopp and obviously we spoke about Robin and Nami from earlier this year and we also had Luffy and like Kinemon and Zoro who had already been added um and who else is in this event Jinbei is from the raid on Onigashima but Sanji raid suit is technically from earlier so it's it's a bit of a mix-up. I don't know. Does this mean we could get another version of Brook later in this arc? I kind of hope not. I kind of hope not. Um, but no King. No King. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Then we have... Again, no... <laughs> no Queen. We do get Chopper. Chopper, to be fair, out of all the characters here, I think had the most justification for getting a new version. Because the first version of Chopper came out at the start of the game. Chopper was part of a, like, a, a promotional campaign for downloading the game. So it was 2018 start of the game, announced before the game even came out. Um, hasn't been touched since. So, in that sense, totally on board. Sprite looks pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Uh, not necessarily the version I would have chosen, like I mentioned before, but a little bit of a shame that Chopper is hasn't hasn't got like a a proper gacha version. I feel like every straw hat should have a proper gacha version or a limited, if if that's applicable. Um, in the case of Yamato, I would have said in the case of Jinbei, but Jinbei has not been made limited, so <laughs> that's irrelevant. Um, but yeah, I, I would have argued that it's a bit of a shame we don't have a gacha chopper. But there you go. Um, and then I would say <laughs> a bit of a highlight, actually. We've got a version to Big Mom, which, yes, some people would argue, is that really a highlight? Like some of these characters, <laughs> all these characters are new versions of existing characters so far from what we've scrolled through. Um, so what's so special about this? But... It's a proper catastrophe stage, has an actual aura costume. I definitely I definitely feel like the aura costumes are a better reward than emblems or stamps or anything like that. Because if it's particularly challenging and you beat it and the character is like worth having and you have them as a 99 luck lead, then you can go into co-op and you can show it off. Or you could if you're making a video on how to beat a stage, you could show off that you've got the costume. It's pretty cool. Um But for me. The emblem is just it just doesn't have the same feeling to it. I don't know, especially if the aura changes the the special animation. I'm fully down. I am fully fully down. But the sprite's got a lot going on. I think it's it's pretty solid. All the sprites in this event are pretty solid, to be fair. Um, and I would have said Big Mum was maybe a sign that maybe we would get some other farmables from this event or some other gacha units from this event that didn't come. So maybe this Big Mum's going to be used later. It's like an event boss that drops another character. Maybe if we get like Kid and Law as playable or something like that. I don't know. But still nice. Still nice. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Big Mom, but I I can appreciate. I can appreciate the inclusion here. Uh, then we have <laughs> another stage that you just beat and it gives you some stamps or whatever. Oh, <laughs> not a fan. I'm not. I'm just not a fan. Uh, but I think it is cool to have a stage where Kaido and Big Mom are the, are the stage bosses. Just not necessarily... Not necessarily the reward I would have chosen. Um, and then we have the friend point gacha update. Um, I am happy for this update. I hope they continue to do more updates to this gacha in the future. Uh, they've also updated like the summons so you could do a, a load at once. Very, very nice. Uh... Definitely a gacha they need to pay a bit more attention to because they really haven't changed it in a very, very long time. So hopefully moving forward, we'll see more from that. Uh, tower boost is just characters boosted the tower. You know this. And then we've got the first of two limited gacha. Now, I've already recorded my summons. They're not out yet. They will be out probably tomorrow or something. I don't know. Um, but one thing I will say about this gacha, I actually have decided that this is one of my favorite formats for the simple reason that even in the worst case scenario 
yes, it does cost 1,000 rubies more than a normal limited wood. But even in the worst case scenario, you're guaranteed a limited and two of the new heroes. And one of those you will be able to choose who you get. So that, to me, is pretty good. Because even if you weren't interested in going for the limited and you just wanted one of the new heroes, you're going for the new heroes. You only have to go to the third multi to get which is just what you'd normally spend. And on the third multi, you are getting... Well, first multi, second multi, third multi, you've got a chance to get the limited, admittedly a low chance. Third one, you get a new hero. And if it's not the one you want, I think it's like the sixth multi or whatever it is. Is it sixth or fifth? I think it should go to the sixth and you get a choice. Whereas in the past, they've had it where it's third, fourth, fifth multi is a new hero. But you could get screwed over and get like dupes of the same one or whatever. But this one does give you a guaranteed... And maybe you get to the sixth multi and you just say, ah, oh, I might as well go all the way and get the limited. Um, which, maybe that's bad, I don't know. <laughs> but generally speaking, I would say this format is very good. And the character choices... Yamato, 10 out of 10 character choice. Sanji arguably could have been a limited in this form. I would even argue in this form might have worked as a raid boss. I think would have been a very cool raid boss. Um, I think they did this on OPTC, Osoba Mask raid boss. I'm not sure. But I would argue... Oh, Sober Mask, I have a Raid Boss or Limited. Sanji does not have a Limited. What, what Sanji does have is three different standard gacha versions, which to me is not great. <laughs> I personally think that is not great. Um, some people may disagree, <laughs> but at least giving Sanji one Limited version or one free version would have spiced things up a little bit but i can see if they're doing all straw hats why they would have chosen sanji to be standard gacha here i i can see that i can understand that uh jimbei similar situ well not same situation as sanji but arguably jimbei should have been limited okay if you're not gonna make jimbei limited standard gacha makes the most sense and i would argue he He's the best pick here. Standard Gadget, he is the best pick here. Um, but yeah, again, it is just a case of if you're doing all the Straw Hats, I guess Jinbei makes the most sense to, to go in that slot. But Frankie, come on. Frankie's already got a Standard Gadget version. I don't know why they chose to make him Standard Gadget here. Could have easily been an event unit. There's absolutely no reason why he can't be an event unit here. And then maybe make... Arguably Usopp. Or Chopper. Or Brook <laughs> into the standard gacha. Because none of them have standard gacha versions except Usopp and it's only a freestyle. So... I do think that's questionable. But, you know, fair enough. Um, but yeah, the format, pretty damn good. And then we have Luffy. Now, Luffy... I have a, a very strong feeling that this version has been chosen as a limited, mainly because of, like, recency bias and because of, like, you know, the other games are doing it, so we'll do it as well type thing. I think in, a, in another timeline, this is a standard gacha Luffy, and then we get Luffy's other version from this, from this arc, from this part of the arc, as a limited. But I think in this current timeline, we get this version as a limited and potentially the other one as a Muso. So far, we've never had a version 2 of a character as a Muso. So far, we've never had... I don't think we've ever had a protagonist as the Muso. At least not by himself. You know, we've, we've had Vegito, which is like fused. Um, and we've had Fuki, which is, again, sort of like fused. But we haven't had just a protagonist as a, as a Muso. So, maybe this is a baseless claim, I don't know. But I feel like if they're going to make this Luffy a limited, there's only one logical step for the thing that comes after this. Which, I guess we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but I would not be surprised if that is something we see before the end of the year, or at the end of the year. So, yay. <laughs> 
But pretty cool sprite. He does look weird in some of his animations, but generally speaking, I think it's very solid. Um, very, very cool. And then we have the Shanks Gacha. Now, this does feel like a bit of a missed opportunity because Shanks has been given an aura costume, which you, you will have been able to see on the side of the screen over here. But uh, there it is. Very cool. But you only get your aura costume if you either already have Shanks or if you pull him while this Gacha is here. Bear in mind, the only discount is the first multi is free. All the rest of the discounts is just like standard summoning. So that's a lot of rubies to spend on a unit that is... Admittedly, he's been buffed, but he's he's old. He is old. He is, he's not great. So to me, that's a bit of a dick move. And it's kind of like, instead of putting this aura costume like behind a stage, it's like you clear the stage and you get the costume, or putting it in the store and it's like, yo, if you have Shanks, you can buy the costume. Or giving Shanks away for free. I know some people will say, oh, maybe that's a bit too much. But they gave away Goldman for free. Goldman is way more recent than Shanks. Um, instead, it's like, if you don't have Shanks. And you're like, yo, that's awesome. Um, well, you've got six days. <laughs> you've got six days to summon for him. And if you don't, you just don't get a costume. It may never be available ever again. We don't know. So, <laughs> that sucks, bro. <laughs> I've got him already. So, you know, is what it is. But for people that have missed out on him in the past, pressuring them into summoning for him here is a dick move. And they could have at least made it 7th multi guaranteed shanks. Like, 1st multi 3, 3rd multi 5 star, 5th multi 5 star, 7th multi guaranteed shanks. What, like, would that have killed them? I know they got to make their money, but come on. He's so old. He came out on the first anniversary. Wait, did he? Was it first anniversary? Yeah, of course it was. Because it was like number ones. It was Shanks and All Might. It was first anniversary. Do you know how long ago that was? So, for me, that's kind of a that's kind of a dick move. Also, if they wanted to do something with like, maybe making Shanks like an event boss or something, and it drops his daughter. I know we haven't got the, the movie yet. But maybe like that's something they could do in the future. I'd be on board with that. I don't care if it's not canon to Weekly Shonen Jump. I have surpassed that at this point because they have continually used content that is not from Weekly Shonen Jump. So, fuck it. <laughs> Just do what you want. Um, but it's a shame because I think Shanks is a very cool character. I think a lot of people love Shanks, and I think I just think this is this is just a dick move. Is it, I get that maybe times are tough, financially speaking. I, I do understand that. Everybody's going through the ringer. I, I get it. But my God, who's who's got the rubies lying around for this at this point in the game? After the last few weeks we've had, with the with the events we have coming up, and with the catch we have on right now, who's got rubies lying around for this? So you want me to go out and spend for this, for Shanks? For, for a limited that came out three anniversaries ago? No, 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 no. <laughs> that is unacceptable for me. But for the people that do have them already, hey, good for you. Get your costume. And for those that get lucky on the first multi, hey, good for you too. For everyone else, sorry, bro, is what it is. Then uh, we have the battle ready gacha. I've taken a more aggressive stance towards these recently. And uh, don't pull on these. Doesn't matter. Don't, I don't care what they put on these. I don't care if they put limiteds on these. Don't pull on these. Ever, 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 ever. I've, I've even considered not putting them in the news because what's the point? I, I, I strongly recommend you do not summon on Gacha like this. Um, and then we have Tanjiro's birthday Gacha. Now, this is actually one of three birthday Gacha. We have Tanjiro today, which should still be up by the time this video goes up, because I'm hoping to put it up today. And then tomorrow, we have Ichigo and Deku. Deku's one is literally just a Deku and Eri, uh, which feels a bit weird because... Deku and Eri is not a dual unit. So even though it would appear as a dual unit, and even though Mirio and Eri is considered a dual unit, it's not a dual unit. So that one appears on Deku's birthday gacha. But Tanjiro and Nezuko, or Tanjiro and Giyu, are considered dual units. So they don't appear on Tanjiro's birthday gacha. It's a bit odd, but 
yes, we have we have Tanjiro today. We have Deku and Ichigo tomorrow. Ichigo's one has all three limited versions, which is very cool. And we get three multi on each. In addition to the three multi we get on Shanks, four free multis on limited gacha is still pretty cool. Plus the other freebies we've got. This is... This event has definitely been a step up from how some of the some of the things have been handled recently. Um, in, in terms of freebies, in terms of not just tickets and summons, in terms of the things we're actually getting being worth summoning on, and also rubies. I think there has been a bit of a step up here, and I appreciate that. Obviously, that might just be because it's One Piece, but we also had these birthdays that just happen to be all around the same time, so there you go. But... Very cool. Ichigo's on here. Deku's not on here, but I mean, Deku will also be coming tomorrow. Then we have the One Piece Guarantee 5 star gacha. As I've said in the past, I don't think these are too bad because it's only really for new players, obviously. But it's like if you come into the game and you're a One Piece fan, chances are you're only going to have one of these characters. You're probably going to have Luffy or Zoro from the choice ticket at the start. I don't even know if Zoro's on it. Luffy is on it, though. You'll probably have like one of those characters and then not much else. And it's like, if you're new to the game, this is a good way to pad out your One Piece collection. Um, but as I said, rupees are a little bit tight at the moment, so maybe maybe don't summon on it. <laughs> it's up to you. And here's the sales packs I talked about before. And you can now buy them six times. And they, they just love throwing those at us. And I just... I, who is spending this, like... Six, six times 60,000 yen that's six hundred dollars that's so much <laughs> I don't get it I don't get it but obviously someone must be doing it otherwise they wouldn't put it up uh, and then we have this pack which gives you uh, I, you know what I'm not even going to talk about it too much I hate this pack <laughs> it's just like we used to get this discount pack and it was relatively cheap and you'd get one of the new units guaranteed now you don't get that pack anymore, but I kept the more expensive pack. 4,900 yen. It's like it's like fifty dollars. It's probably not quite fifty dollars because the uh, prices have changed recently. But yeah, fifty fifty ish dollars. That's it's just not worth it. It's just not. Uh, we have Zoro Juro returning. I do wonder. Well, I was gonna say if maybe they put a discount on for this or something. Obviously, I haven't listed anything here. But there's nothing written on the banner, so chances are there are no discounts for this. And that's a shame. Because I feel like you could have easily done like a, a something special with this one. Because they have done something special with this one. Kaido and Kazuki Odin. Um, it's like a special... We don't know all the steps yet. It hasn't been officially announced. But it's like on the 7th multi, you get guaranteed one of the two. And on the 14th, you can choose which one you want. So you could choose a dupe, why would you? Or you could choose the other one you didn't get, which is pretty cool. So, not bad, although I do think it's a little bit bait. One of the things I, I, I feel quite strongly about is Kazuki Odin and Kaido. These are two very hyped characters. But I feel like if a new player sees this band, they'll be like, yo, Kazuki Odin, he must be amazing in this game. And he's, just, he's not. He's just not. So I feel like a banner like this is very, very much bait, which is a bit of a shame, but... There you go. Uh, then we have this gacha. We still don't have full info on this just yet. So we don't know if it's just these four units. If it is just these four units, not too bad because you do get to choose between the four. I guess as it's a choice ticket, even if there are more characters on it, it's not a big deal because you could just choose the one you want. We know at least these four should be here. And uh, maybe not really, but these three are very solid at least. So there's that. Um, and then we have this, which is, it's a bait gacha. I, I wouldn't really recommend summoning on this. <laughs> and, uh, Tower Week, don't summon on the popular heroes gacha. But if you missed out on Bakugo, here is your chance. And we have the seven day pack, which is actually not bad value. 980 yen for 500 rubies plus one and a half jewels and six ultimate scrolls. It's not, it's not one of the hyper value packs, but as far as packs go, I've seen worse. Um, then we have this. I don't recommend buying. We have this. I don't recommend buying. We have these. 
which I don't recommend buying. <laughs> we have this, which is a new kind of fuckery. I, I have to talk about this one. They they took the pack that already exists that gives you free jewels and 3,000 rubies, and instead it gives you 165 limited limit break doors. Now, limit break to me doesn't matter. I know it does have a significant impact on super dimensional battle, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So the fact that they're replacing jewels, which actually have an impact on your character's skills with Limit Break Doors, is kind of silly. But the thing that's sillier is it's not even enough to max the character out. It's not even halfway to getting the character to max. So to me, that is a massive ripoff. And it's the same price as the one that gives you jewels. Outrageous. Um, then there's this pack, which I think there's a very good chance this doesn't get added. Because uh, they've done this in the past, they've had these special sales packs that are sort of in addition to the ones they normally do. Uh, and they just haven't released them. And in this case, this one might not get released, but it is in the files. 3,060 yen, so a little bit cheaper than the other one. Gives you 500 rubies and it gives you two guaranteed five stars. One of which is guaranteed to be a new hero from this event. It's better... But it is still miles worse than the old one. So make of that what you will. If they do release this, I can't really recommend <laughs> I can't really recommend this. But it's interesting. They're at least making an effort to do something different, I guess. Uh, and that's pretty much this event. That's pretty much all there is to talk about. It's not, you know, just a One Piece event, isn't it? You know? Well, I'm going to do a sort of discussion topic on... The 1010 event, which is coming up, because I think there's a lot to talk about there. I've talked about a lot of it in the past, but one last go, just before the event drops, and I don't know. I, I guess you'll see my summons tomorrow, maybe, and then that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll, I'll see you all next time.